Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another video for you, a how-to video, track prep video. We're going to change the transmission fluid on my 2022 Camaro SS1LE. Uh, the transmission is a Tremec 6060 six-speed manual. So this really applies to any vehicle with the same transmission, whether that's a fifth gen Camaro, a Dodge Challenger with the six speed manual, uh, Ford GT500, some of the GT350s I believe use the Tremec 6060, the new Mach 1 as well. It's pretty simple to change out, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so what you'll need to do the transmission fluid change uh, is just some basic tools. So. 3 8 ratchet, a fluid pump of some kind, uh, just to get the new fluid into the transmission. And then of course you need the fluid itself. So in this case, I'm gonna use the Driven Racing Oils AT3. Um, yes, it is automatic transmission fluid. And yes, this is a manual transmission but the Tremec TR6060 calls for AT3 fluid. So that is what we are going to put in it. So in order to do a full change, you need four bottles of the driven oil. Other tools that you will need are a three inch extension for a three eighths ratchet and a three eighths universal joint to make it a whole lot easier to get to the drain plug. All right, once you've got all your fluid and your tools, the next step is to get the car either jacked up or if you have access to a lift, get it on the lift and get it up in the air, get yourself some space to work, and get ready to maybe get a little dirty. Let's do it. Once you've got the car safely on jack stands, uh, the next thing you want to do is find the transmission itself, find the TR6060, and find the drain plug and the fill plug. So come on, let's go for a ride. So as we get under the car here, find the transmission. It's right there. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit here. There we go. And then uh, on the driver's side of the vehicle, you'll actually find the fill plug. It is right there, and it's conveniently labeled fill. And on the passenger side, a little less conveniently located, is the drain plug, which is also labeled drain. So we'll get to those. Uh, might need a three inch extension for that three eighths ratchet, but we should be able to get to that pretty easy. First thing we're gonna do though, is crack loose and open the fill plug because uh, if we can't get it filled back up, there is no point trying to drain it. All right, we are underneath the car. We have found the fill plug we're going to get that off first again to make sure that we can actually fill the transmission back up once we've drained it uh, there is this hard line that's in the way with a little bit of force we can just push that out of the way it'll uh, detach from that bracket and you can get the 3 8 ratchet on that uh, on that fill plug and break it loose See, it's not uh, very tight. It does have thread lock put into it there. So uh, before I continue any further, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drain pan just in case we get a little bit of seepage of the trans fluid. All right, I have my drain pan in place and we'll actually move the camera a little tiny bit so that there's a better angle for you. So the 
fill plug is out and now we're ready to move to the drain side and get this old fluid out of there. Okay, now that we've moved to the drain plug, uh, I needed a three inch extension on the ratchet as well as a three eighths universal to get into that angle for the drain plug. So we'll get that connected. We'll crack it loose and then I'm gonna move out of the way so I can get the drain plug in here and we'll move the camera position. Okay, once the fluid has stopped draining, uh, this will continue to drip for a little while, but you'll want to get the plug back in on the drain side. And that can be a little tricky just because of where it's located. Now that the drain plug is in, we can hit this area up with some very clean Get all the residual fluid cleaned up. Make sure it stops dripping. All right, now that we've got the drain plug back in, next step is to fill the transmission back up. We're gonna put the one end of the transfer pump into the fill hole, and the other end into the bottle, and we're gonna continue to pump. Now, uh, in some cases, because uh, it gets pretty tiring to hold that up there. You might want to place a block of wood or, or something to keep that stacked up to make it easier to pump for you. In my case, I'm gonna get a small can of paint to set the bottle of transmission fluid on to give me a nice base so that my arms and shoulders don't get tired holding this up there. Feed the line or the, the hose, I should say, into the transmission. Pass the threading. And pump away. Now that we've got the new fluid in, we can get the fill plug back into the transmission and spray down the transmission housing with some, some brake parts cleaner to make sure that none of this stuff gets anywhere else. Get the 3 8 ratchet wrench back on it. Get it tightened up. Again, this doesn't have to be super tight. In fact, we can see where the initial quality inspection mark was there. We had some threads showing with the thread locker. So that should be good. Wipe up the excess fluid that was draining out. By the way, that's how you know that this is full. Fluid will start to run out of the fill hole for you. Get this sprayed down. Get it cleaned off. Make sure to get any other areas that you touched with the fluid, just so that you're not running into leaks later. And make sure you get this hard line back in on the holder. And that's it. You're done changing the fluid on the TR6060. Now to get the car down and take it for some test runs.
All right, there we have it. Trans fluid is changed. You are all set, ready to go. Fresh fluid, ready for a track day or whatever it might be. Your Tremec TR6060 is fresh and clean, whether it's in a Camaro, a GT500, Mustang of any other sort, Dodge Challenger. I believe the Viper also used the TR6060, but check me on that. Leave it in the comments. Let me know if I'm right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if there are any other questions, just let me know. Drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to them as soon as I can. Thanks everyone.